yeah good morning uh, today the lecture 4 we try to get the basics of the finite state machine and uh, remember this is the, uh, our course is formal language for this formal language formal language is nothing but a parent of your programming languages because all our programming languages like C Java Python are basically nothing but an extended version uh, of formal language what is formal language it is a uh, it can it can you can write algorithm in it you can write programs in it not directly but uh, with some extension with C in Python or C so but formal language uh, which which definitely titillate or on hardware it's like if you have a regular language it it can apply on finite state machine if it did uh, context free grammar you can titillate a finite state machine along also with a stack onto it that is called push down automata and then the Turing machine are all are there but first we discuss about the what are the basic things of the finite state machine but why finite state machine because very easier to design with a only a flip-flop with few flip-flop you can make a finite state machine and uh, what is the before the finite state machine that is a combinatorial life circuit like our uh, switches that is either on and off that is the basic things of uh, combinatorial circuit uh, that is also a finite state machine and if you have a uh, path into it if you have a multiple state not only one on off if you have a multiple path and they can transit with the uh, symbols symbols is the part of alphabet will come to it yeah this is the easiest this is I have told you this is a combinatorial circuit so, uh, switch on and off with easiest to design and you will come to know will come to know with this very basic hardware we can solve a lot of problems Six, example is our college lift college lift basically inside it is a finite state machine it, there is no computer attached to it or there is no stack attached to it but it can do its job it can go to first floor second floor third floor and if whenever it is going up when is anybody press down whenever it keeping down it uh, tracks and it cannot remember much more so that after every trip or two trip it cannot remember so if it is a uh, say our seventh floor ho house, uh, seventh floor uh, flat, or it may be a hundred floor apartment. The logic is same. So, finite state machine doesn't mean doesn't tell that uh, your number of states should be limited. It can be one million states. That is also a finite state machine until and unless it doesn't have a stack with it. Then we'll call not a finite state machine. That will be immensely powerful machine. And that will call a push down automata but we will come later into this uh, uh, here we find a state machine means it can only remember its state whether I am off or on whether I am uh, state Q0 whether I am a state Q1 or Q2 I can jump from one state to another with the uh, with the symbol we'll come to this yeah this example of finite state machine this place is locked if you press coin then it's going unlocked and then if you remember I, I think you, your parents can remember whenever they can talk over the std you always put coins into it in the so that they can uh, whenever there is a beep beep then you have to put one rupee coin or something like that so that they continue uh, if it fails it disconnect this is a typical locked and unlocked a finite state machine yeah this is an example of a finite state machine there are a lot of try to understand it is very simple diagram this is a definition of state uh, we we here with the state defined as a b c d and why it is a two circles are there two concentric circle that means is the accepting state what does it mean accepted state a finite state machine should have at least one or more accepting states uh, I'll come when a finite state machine may not have accepted state then it doesn't accept anything it uh, language accepted will be shy but expected the finite state machine at least one mm, or it can have all the state can be uh, accepted state that it can accept any language so it can accept any damn thing so that is uh, it doesn't have any accepted state it doesn't accept anything that is your language is shy that is blank nothing is understood by this machine because whenever it's a machine is understood then it had to be reached into the uh, that final state uh, that fi uh, final state 
and if it all the states are concentric circle then it accepts any damn thing that is your language is sigma star that is a uh, sigma is your alphabet here sigma is 0 and 1 any combination of 0 and 1 uh, it is accepted so uh, there will be always a star state uh, uh, in a finite state machine you might argue why not two but it is always one and only one and accept state i have told you uh, if preferable should be one uh, or it can be more than one no issue uh, all the state can be accepted state that is also true and you can transit from one state to another with only a symbol that is we this is called zero and one we call it the alphabets of our uh, this thing this is our machine and we titillate the machine with alphabet and when uh, a string is accepted we call this uh, this uh, string is accepted by the machine that, th that is called the language we call then particular string is language you can clearly see if we put any three ones together it comes to a accepted state any three one and then any damn thing it will be accepted but eventually it has to be any three one so this is so we can write a language of this machine so that is a binary string anywhere any place the three ones together it will accept yes so this is it with m accepts w if you see it here uh, with this thing and it comes to the d in some of the books you can see the a b c d is noted by q0 that is a one of the good convention i will follow that convention also q0 is the initial state here it is abc i have i have borrowed it from mit side and uh, but this convention is same always the uh, there should be one and only starting indicator and the final state should be at least one or more uh, if the if yes that's it the final state machine is accepts of w w causes aim to follow a path from start state to accept it that i have told some terminology and notation finite alphabet of symbol this different dif c it is a that is a great cantor uh, in introduced in 1874 alphabet concept uh, set concept this uh, your alphabet finite alphabet maybe in all digital we have only the alphabet 0 and 1 our english language alphabet a to z or with some punctuation characters so that is called uh, sigma in most of the literature and books that's called sigma this is this is a set this is set of uh, this is set of symbols uh, from which the language is generated then this is what is the language language is whenever you you create any concatenation of the symbols whether that is accepted by the final state machine or not accepted means after you pumping to the machine with the strings and remember this all the pumping should be done in serial we'll come to this it should be all serial it sh uh, finally it ends the state should be with the accepted state yeah this is sigma uh, string finite sequence of s uh, symbols uh, and a length of the string w is most of the literature it is called a not a single alphabet it is a string string of alphabets it's okay this is string uh, and this, uh, the w is accepted or not we don't know uh, whether after applying w if it comes to an accepted state we'll say that w is accepted okay and the length of this is uh, mod uh, this is mod this thing epsilon is a place of empty string in some books you can see lambda both are same and mod of epsilon definitely zero uh, this I told sigma star set of all finite string is a so this is uh, what are the combinations of the languages you can have so if I in a finite state machine all the states I make it a with concentric circle with a like accepted state then any damn thing will be accepted say that is a sigma star is a language but here sigma star uh, in most of the cases sigma star is subset of sigma star would be accepted by finite state machine where uh, at least one is not in the in accepted state we'll come to this concatenation of the string here we see here it will be like uh, wx together or it can be like this we will see it and that is the and what is the lmf we'll come to this here i have told you this is a, a simple finite state machine with only four states and 
anywhere if a three ones comes it goes to the accepting state so we can say the what is the language the language is nothing but w contains one 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 as a substring so anywhere one 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 as a substring it will be accepted so what is the formal definition of finite automata or finite state machine this finite automata or finite state machine is same uh, it is a five tuple uh, q is the total number of states sigma is the alphabet uh, like here zero and one delta is a transition function what is a transition function transition function if you are in one state if you put one of the from alphabet and which state you are going to that is a transition function remember q is number of is finite sigma is also finite so this cartesian product also will be finite q0 is must be there that initial state see this is th this is a uh, state this is not a set and f is the uh, it can be consist of only one state and more than one state f is the number of accepting states number of accepting state this is the five tuple uh, later on we will find there are two kinds of finite state machine one is milli machine one is moore machine milli machine give output also for transition there it might be a six tuple not five tuple we will cover it later moore machine is a five tuple but formal definition of finite state machine it is a five tuple q0 is the start state if is the state of accepting or the final states what is the f this are the five tuple this is very important uh, q is the uh, this are the states i have already told in some books it may be q0 q1 q2 q3 uh, sigma in some books it may be small a b or most of the cases 0 and k 1 delta is the transition function these are the state maybe q0 q1 q2 q3 and this is the input alphabet and this is after if you are in state a if you put zero you are going to a state a so this is the transition function of delta and q0 here here a q is the transition and f is the d the d means this is a set and d is the accepted state so this is a transition function formal definition of computation is so this is a uh, meaning is that uh, whenever you pumping a string here uh, here say if you take start with q and uh, w a so if you have take the delta transition q a then if you apply a is the same the, this is a w is a string and uh, most of the cases w x y z is taken as a screen uh, taken as a string string means uh, concatenation of terminals of alphabets and a means is now singular a b c d w most of the combination is a w is a concatenation of a b s together and so that is it but remember thus all all conc uh, this thing are in this serial in nature from left to right formal definition string w is accepted like delta transition q0 is the starting state and w is the string uh, after all ends in a f well, one of the state is the accepted state that is w leads from start state to an accepted state string w is rejective it is not accepted so if you reach a uh, state where it is not in the accepted state then we'll say string is not accepted that is that is language that string is rejected a language is any set of strings over some alphabet okay uh, it can be and language recognized by finite state machine is if it's accepted by m a language is regular or f a f a finite automata recognizable or finite state machine recognizable if it is recognizable some finite automata yeah but we'll see this is though it's a very simple language it can cater a lot of problems to any computation so most of the problems if we find it you can solve it to a finite state machine with the regular language we try to solve it we don't touch the higher machine like uh, push on automata or turing machine uh, so we'll see it thank you